today I'm going to show you how you can make a chocolate bar just using simple nets. So here are what you'll need. A brown piece of card, a red piece of card, or you can get coloured paper and stick it onto a plain piece of card or thin cardboard like a cereal box for example. A pair of scissors to cut out the nets. A ruler to draw out the nets. A glue stick or PVA glue to stick them together. A pencil to draw out the nets. And a marker in case you need it later for decoration. Starting off with my brown piece of card and grabbing my pencil and ruler. Firstly, I'm going to draw a rectangle in the center with the length 8 times 3.5 centimeter. So this will go in the center, and beneath my center rectangle, I'm going to draw a bigger one, which the length will be 8 times 5.5 centimeter length the sides. And beneath that rectangle, I'm going to draw another rectangle the length 8 times 3.5 centimeter, the same length as my center rectangle. And on top of my center rectangle, I'm going to draw an 8 times 5.5 centimeter rectangle. This is the same length as the one below the center rectangle. I have drawn my four main rectangle sides. Now I'm going to draw two more rectangles next to my center one, which the length will be 5.5 times 3.5 centimeters. This should reach all the way to the edge of the card, the base and lid of the chocolate bar. Now the net is done. But now it's time to add in the tabs. So on the bottom two rectangles, on either side they are going to have tabs on them and I'm making them fairly big so it's easier for me to stick together later. If I make them too small it's going to be quite fiddly. So here they are, and on the top rectangle, I'm going to draw tabs all around it. So it's going to have three tabs, and making them fairly big again. Okay, so now I'm finished drawing out the net of the chocolate bar. It's pretty simple and grabbing my red piece of card I'm going to do the exact same on this and instead the length of each side will be 0.5 centimeter longer for each one I'll write down the length below if you are lazy or if you find it fiddly drawing out the nets you can always print them off from website here are nets that I've printed out and I've wrote, written the length of the side onto the piece of paper Here's the website what I used for the nets and it's a flat rectangular prism. This is the one what you need, the multicolored one. I'll put the link below for this website and here are both the nets. One bigger than the other slightly and I've printed them off onto white piece of paper and then stuck them onto the card at the back. So this is the chocolate bar and the red one which is the packaging. So all you need to do is print them out onto the paper and then stick it onto card or cardboard. After cutting out your nets using your pair of scissors now it's time to glue them together. So here are both my nets. 
the chocolate bar and the red packaging net. So grabbing my red net, the packaging one, and my pair of scissors again. So I'm going to cut one of these out because I only need one of them. And I'm going to cut this one out and I'm cutting it out because we need a hole at the top of this net to put our chocolate bar in. So now I don't need that piece. And I can cut off all the tabs along this side as well because we don't need them. And this will be how it looks like when it's stuck together. So these are irrelevant and I can just cut these out and throw them away since I won't need to stick them to the actual net. Okay, so now there's nothing on the right hand side of the net at all and this will be where I'll have the hole to put the chocolate bar in and now you can stick the net together and here's my other net. So you're going to have to bend the tabs inward first and you'll do the same for every single tab on the net and then grabbing my glue I'm going to apply glue onto the tabs on the brown side just because I want the brown card as the outside of the chocolate bar. Yay! So now I've finished sticking the nets together and grabbing my nets. Here are how they look right now. So here's the chocolate bar and how it looks like all around. Grabbing a black marker and you also need a ruler for this. You want the lines to be straight and basically I drew vertical lines and horizontal lines onto the brown chocolate bar cube to make the pattern. And I also did the same on the other side as well. And here's how my chocolate packaging box looks all around it. I've basically got pictures and stuck it onto the box to make it more interesting. And the gap where you're going to put the chocolate bar in. So here's my chocolate bar and I can basically place it in here like this. You can, if you want, stuff tissue at the bottom so the chocolate bar doesn't fall all the way down. Because if it does, like this, it is quite difficult to get it out. And it could also break the chocolate bar. So here's my finished chocolate bar model. It's fun and easy to make. You can decorate however you like. It looks yummy and cute, like a real chocolate bar. So here is the finished model. Bye, see you next time.